Yo, what up, guys? We've saved the here, and a new set of um, tournaments just launched right here in Great Shadow Legends. And one that is especially the Fire Knight tournament requires you to use a specific type of champion, rare champions only, in order for you to obtain rewards from that Fire Knight tournament. So, this one is about to end the Dragon tournament that gave us speed artifacts 2x speed is about to end so the only thing right now in racial legends to spend your free energy on right now is this fire knight one i did not go for the champion training because it seems like it's gonna take me a lot of energy including saved up resources and right now i'm trying to save my resources the energy for the upcoming fusion so will this fire knight um tournament even be worth your time my simple answer to the question is no it is not worth it because of the rewards we are seeing there is not that enticing usually we expect to see a void shard at this level of 2100 but right now we are seeing ancient shard at 1750 so that's the only reason why i'm going for this the only main reason is because of these ones another ancient shard right here on the um leaderboard if you win or come in fourth position even fifth position in your leaderboard you get that one ancient shard so maybe two ancient shard might be what you're going for this maybe because um there is really nothing else for you to spend your energy on except maybe you're farming masteries on some champions or you're doing some other building some other things but right now on my end game account there is nothing else besides this fire knight tournament another reason why you should want to skip out on it is because if your end end game Fighting the Fire Knight at level 20 will mean you sell 99.9% .9 of the gear you farm. And when that's that's not a good reason to farm the Fire Knight. Usually you, you want to farm it when you can, you know, maybe get some good Savage set or some good Stun set or something like that, right? But right now, this tournament that will require you to use rare champions will require you to farm it at level 20 or even lower level for those who don't have good gear on their account to beat level 20 with their rare champions so i'm giving you all the pros and cons why you should skip this and why you should maybe want to go for it so the main reason i want to go for it is because i'm sure that i can get these two ancient shard so if it was a void shard it would be even more awesome but right now maybe i might even get be able to get this um relentless sets right there another reason why you should go for it is maybe on your tournament leaderboard open it and check maybe nobody is even going for it nobody is pushing for it somebody got 10 points or something if you see your tournament leaderboard nobody is attempting it you might want to put some rare champions together and get maybe 50 100 points and win one of those rare um, ancient shards right here all right so right now in racial legends is a cool week and nothing else is happening besides this and we are all saving our resources for the upcoming fusion if you are skipping out on the fusion maybe this is something for you to spend your time on so level 20 i'll show you my champions that i used to beat it and then um, explain how i put them together two cold hearts it's the staple everybody's going to be using a cold heart because she's one of the best rare champions to use in this um dungeon apothecary is also awesome because of his triple hit or is it triple i think triple hit on his a1 that you know helps you take down the shield easily for the boss of level 20 who does have a 10 shield that um 10 hit shield where you can hit it before you can begin to do damage to him Duke's defense champion you might want to bring in a war maiden in here because she's the best at the rare level to bring Dicky's defense for you right there for dungeon content everywhere, including right here where she's of the and the, just the right affinity. So I don't have my war maiden built out right now. I don't even have gear on her. She's level 50. That's why I brought in an alternate champions who can also put in Dicky's defense, not 50% decrease defense, but at least a 25% decrease defense that will help me. He doesn't only bring that, he brings decrease attack for the waves. So this champion is built with a stun set, so he can also help me stun the waves, lock their active skills sometimes. And so Bellower is an awesome champion to replace War Ma uh, my um, War Maiden. So War Maiden is still the best for this position though, because it will mean your cold that will hit more, and my um, starter champion right there, Etel, will even take down the um, enemies faster. So Etel is also there for damage, also in a stun set. I'll show you all their gear and artifacts and all that at the end of the run. So Apothecary is in a normal speed set. So let's start the battle and just see how it goes. Now you, this run does not have a revive champion. If you want to make it a even more secure run where you have no chance of failure, you might want to sub out one of your 
damage dealers maybe one of your cold hearts in place of a really query tender yes she is the best reviver in the rare category for you to bring in into this battle and if i scroll down to my rares right there you see my really query tender fully built good artifacts even i think she has um six star um ascension on her right there so that's a champion if i don't want any failure right here i can bring her in to be, do some revive because some of these enemies can hit really hard especially when they don't get stunned all right i'll run this battle all the way to the end and i'll come at right back at the end but let's see first of all how it goes in at least in the first wave the first wave is supposed to be about one minute second wave one minute and then the boss one minute. maybe a three minutes run is a good way but if somebody dies <laughs> then it's gonna be probably a four minute to five minutes run but again this is not something i'm hoping to farm you know with saved up energy i'm just trying to use it to spend my free energy obtained today while i save all other energy for the um, upcoming fusion all right let's see how we go decrease defense that's the way to start the battle and decrease attack so hopefully when they hit us my cold hearts won't go down we didn't get any stun from etel that's a sad one my bowler did, did not also stun anybody that's not what you want to see you want to see at least two of the enemies stun right now we're going to take a lot of damage and somebody might die because we don't have any stun out here see they're going for my etel and etel might die etel does not have life steal so she's not even healing from this hit she's doing Whoop. see that's it and this run is going to be probably a <laughs> six minutes five minutes run right now i'll let it run all the way to the end and i'll come back at the end and uh, we'll talk some more All right, we are on to the boss and we are going to easily melt this shield with the uh, multiple hits from all these rare champions, Apothecary and the Cold Hearts. With a heal reduction right there on him. So even if he takes a turn, he will not be healing himself fully. So that's something to note. And if Relic Rare Tender was here, should have cleansed that um, slow speed that he put on us right now. So I lost my... <laughs> um, What's her name now? Atel. So I do not have wicking for this battle. I'm waiting for that decrease defense, even the small version that um, Bellower can place, and he did not place it. So with the help of Apothecary, we can, you know, get back to our abilities faster. This cold heart will have their heart seeker up again before the boss can, you know, put up the shield. Hopefully, we can also place slow speed on the boss right there from Bellower. That means he will not be taking too much turns faster the Hatsika was not available too bad he'll be able to put up a shield again so no matter what this run was a little slower because of ATL died we can being on this boss including that decrease defense 25 percent decrease defense makes it a lot faster but without ATL right here it's just a four to five minutes run but um, my cold hearts with their Hatsika can even take him down so hopefully we can do that in five minutes Apothecary doing the heals, coming in clutch in the second wave, else one of the cold hearts would have died in the second wave and that would be a disaster. 
So I like this th kind of tournaments because they make you dust out these um, lost and forgotten rare champions that you used in the early game and you don't think it's necessary to use them anymore in the end game. And this is also showing newer players of Racial Legends that even if you're in end game, these rare champions are still viable in some content like this when they force you to use it maybe in the doom tower maybe in the um content like this special tournaments like this that come up that require to use rare champions or champions from a specific faction all right that's my um, team that is able to take down the fire net at level 20 rare champions only team that is and this will give me some points towards the tournament 16 points right there so like i said this gear is not something i need and it will be sold 99 percent of the gear farmed from level 20 will be sold on my account your account might be different and you'll be able to appreciate level 20 i mean five star gear but that's not me so let's head over to this um rsa hopper so i can take a look at the champions that made this possible and show you some of their artifacts and sets everybody have their skills fully booked except this um cold heart right here this spare cold hearts that i use that does not have her masteries fully and uh, done right there apothecary full speed 288 speed right there random speed gear that has good speed that's what i use on him um stun set on this um spare cold heart that i used for doom tower stun set 198 speed right there that's the sun stun set and then the second cold art is in full damage gear and that's cold art is what i use for my normal spider teams and that's her right there with over 300 percent crit damage right there good cold art build not in savage but works for spider and like i said etel is no longer in lifesteal my etel is now in a stun set because of doom tower secret rooms that require me to beat that doom tower secret room with champ rare champions of attack um stats all right so that's etel build and that's why she's in a stun set remember all these champions are in a stun set because i either use them in faction wars or in doom tower your rare champions don't necessarily need to be in a stun set to beat this bellower can keep them under control and your reviver in terms of reliquary tender can bring anybody down and uh, bring anybody that goes down back to life so that's a safe way of playing it don't risk it like i did bringing an ATL. i rely on stun to control the waves so nobody goes down but when stun fails somebody will go down and i don't have a reviver <laughs> in the team right now all right that's the um and the team that made it possible i'll be using my free to play energy to fight these battles and get some points towards that right now i'm in the fourth place and i don't mind even if i can get one first place to fifth place will get one of those rare um ancient shards so i'm currently in third place right now so if anybody nobody is pushing in your leaderboard go in there fight one or two battles and get some points hopefully you get that ancient shard it's not compulsory just that there's nothing else to do right now in retail legends besides wait and patiently wait for um, this upcoming fusion so while we do this i tried just thought i'd share this one with you guys hopefully you enjoy it hit like in this video for me and hopefully um maybe tomorrow i'll come up with something else from the Noto pro perspective later guys